Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of my shopping haul. If you caught my vlog from yesterday, my weighing update, it had a shopping haul on there as well from Asda. And as I mentioned on that vlog, I was going to do the rest of the shopping that I needed to do and pop it on today. So that's what this is. So it is Tuesday the 25th of January. You need to make sure that you check all sins because if you're watching this um, vlog after a later date, then the sins could have changed. But obviously I don't expect it to change within the next day or so. But yeah, always just double check for your own peace of mind. But this is what they are as of today. Um, I've been to Asda and got the remaining bits that I needed. I've also been to Home and Bargains and bought way more than I ever planned on doing. But I think that's what Home and Bargain is like. And then I've also nipped to Iceland as well and picked up a couple of bits from there that I wanted. So yeah, I'm just going to dive straight in. I've only separated everything out in the different shopping areas i've not separated everything out into free food sin food and things like that so i'm just gonna whiz through it as quick as i can because i know that yesterday's vlog was ridiculously long and i'm hoping that today's one's not going to be as bad but we'll see because we know what i'm like now don't we so i'm just gonna start straight away with the pasta and sauces um i just needed to top up those and um home and bargains they're always really nice and cheap so i've got two packs I'll show you there of the bachelors pasta and sauce the chicken and mushroom flavor as you can see there they're just half a sin each and um, that's as long as that you're not adding any butter or extra cheese or anything like that and like i said two packs of those <coughs> they're really good nice quick lunch quick dinner absolutely fab to have just in the cupboard for as and when you need them and I've also picked up, same make, but this time the tomato, onion and herb one. And again, just half a sin for the full pack. Again, as long as you make them with water. Another two of them. I've almost gone through all my mug shots, so I've restocked those. <coughs> I've got the original curry one again. There was only one left of these, so I picked the last one up. Two sins for this one. I've got two packs of the sweet and sour mug shots, one and a half sins each for them. And then this time I also picked up some of the tomato and herb pasta ones. Let it focus. And two sins for these. <clears throat> picked up two of the roast chicken flavour. And they're two and a half sins each. And finally, for the mug shots, I've picked up again two <clears throat> of the chicken and mushroom flavour for two and a half sins. When, you know, I'm the type of person that I do really like stuff like pot noodles. So for a fraction of the sins, I can feel like I'm having a pot noodle and just throw it with some salad or some extra veggies and stuff like that and boost the speed and make it into a proper meal rather than just having it as a snack. So two more of those <clears throat> I did pick up a six pack as you can see it's been raided already of the sugar free tango dark berry never tried them before so first time tonight and I can say they are very very nice some, not for me but some walkers smoked pigs in blankets six and a half cents per pack of those my kids absolutely love them and so do my husband and then we've got some Blue Dragon Sweet Chilli Sauce for one and a half sins per tablespoon. I know that I can get the Crucials one for a lot less, but this is really nice. So if I'm doing a stir fry and it's going to be for everyone, if I throw a couple of tablespoons in of that, then it's pretty much negligible um, once you've portioned it all out between everyone. And like I say, it is really, really nice. So yeah, one and a half sins per tablespoon. And then again crucials picked up two more of these because we go through it like nobody's business just half a sin per tablespoon of that barbecue sauce i picked up some herbs and spices so some ground cumin which is free some garlic granules again free and then some cajun seasoning and this is half a sin per teaspoon so not tablespoon teaspoon for that 
I've got some Hartley's No Bits Raspberry Jam and it is, oh, can you see that? Two sins per tablespoon for them. Again, I'm not a massive jam eater. I'd rather have Marmite, which is sin free. Um, so that's for Kevin the kids. These, again, for them, not for me, but for hot dogs, three sins each. And they're those really large ones. I mean, this jar is, what size is it? So it's a 350 gram jar. So they are the really big, chunky ones. Picked up two of those. They're always good just to have in the cupboard for a quick lunch or a quick dinner. Something that's not edible, but you do use in your mouth. <laughs> Some um, sensitive toothpaste. And then I do feel, especially since giving birth, obviously I'm knackered anyway because I'm up several times a night feeding the little man. But I do feel like I need a boost of everything. And I do eat, obviously, you'll see in my what I eat in a day is that I eat quite a good diet of fruit and vegetables and salads. But just to give myself that little bit extra, I've picked up some vitamins as well from Home and Bargains. And I picked up some vitamin C tablets, vitamin B complex, and also vitamin D ones as well. Um, these ones are the extra strength. So just to try and help, help with, um, just with, yeah, just help with health and help with sleeping better and feeling better during the day and stuff and more energy and things like that so it's worth a try and the good thing with vitamins I know that I'm eating a really good diet with um, plenty of fruits vegetables salads but the good things with vitamins if I don't need it you just wee it out you get rid of it anyway so it's no harm no foul if I am lacking on anything then these are going to pick it up um, I am definitely lacking on vitamin D. Everybody lacks on vitamin D. We just don't get enough of it in this country. So everyone can do with boosting the vitamin D. But the other ones, the vitamin C and the vitamin Bs, um, obviously them too. Vitamin C will help me ward off any illnesses and the vitamin Bs is for tiredness and stuff like that. So we'll see. I can only try. But anyway, enough about vitamins. <laughs> Let's move on. I also picked up two packs of toothbrushes. I like these because they're black toothbrushes, so a bit different to the usual white ones. And only 99p a pack, so I picked up two of them. I've picked up my husband some double chocker mocha Nescafe sachets, but if you fancied a treat, they're only four and a half cents each, which isn't bad at all. I picked him up a couple of tins of Lynx, one of his favourite smells. It's the Lynx Black. It is very nice. I've got some chicken stock pots. They're free. I've got some plasters because we've run out of our little first aid box. And then also some Peppa Pig ones. I know that if I put them on Alana, she'll only end up peeling them off because she'll think they're ace being Peppa Pig, but we can try. Two packs of ibuprofen, 200 milligrams, and then onto more food items. I've restocked on my 10 cal jellies. These are just half a sin each because um, my daughter Alyssa absolutely loves them as well, so she goes through them just as quick as I do. Sorry, just can't reach. And then some some bars that I've not ever tried before. I've picked up some of these Bliss Bars. Now, I absolutely love anything to do with coconut. And these ones are dark chocolate with coconut. And they're just five cents each. So I picked up two boxes of those. And then, again, I've never tried these before. So these are something new to me. I've picked up some of these ones as well. Coconut and chocolate Saint Bars. And these are just four and a half cents each. Two of them. And then I've also picked up some of the Fibre One Goes. Five of one goes, no, five of ones, 90 calorie bars. They're four each, or you can have one as your healthy extra B. And then I picked up the milk chocolate popcorn ones. They're the peanut butter ones. And then them ones are three and a half cents each, or one for your healthy extra B. And then, because I love them, I've they're on offer for three for a pound at home and bargain. So I've got six of the white and six of the brown chocolate. But as you can see here, the white chocolate ones are five and a half cents each. Sorry, the light reflecting. And the 
dark chocolate ones, not dark chocolate, but normal chocolate ones are five cents each. Not focusing. Great. But yeah, and these are the skinny ones. Absolutely lovely. And like I say, worth it if you've got the sins left over on an evening just for that little sweet hit. I picked up two more soy sauces. Again, these were on offer, only 99p each. And they're the massive ones. They're free. And then I've also got... Throwing them all over the floor. But I got two packs of those. They're the medium noodles, the blue dragon ones. They're free. And then I got two packs of the fine noodles again absolutely free so that's everything from home and bargain and then what i'll do is i will show you what i got from asda so these are the bits that i picked up from asda so just diving straight in there i've got some squirty cream now the this is the full fat version because the 30 percent lighter which i don't think tastes as nice is one and a half sins for 12.5 grams and for the sake of the flavor and half a sin i've gone for this one just because like i say it does taste nicer and it's only a half sin difference so i've got the full fat one two sins for 12.5 grams i've got two cartons of passata which is free or speed if you want to class it as that because it is tomato um i've also got a tin of chickpeas which are free a tin of butter beans which is free a tin of green lentils which are free some red kidney beans which are free and some taco mixed beans which are in a spicy tomato sauce and they're free as well so i've got all those <coughs> i've got a big four pack of baked beans which are also free i have Two packs of spiral pasta free and two packs of the shell pasta which again is free as well and even um, fresh pasta is now free if you check the app as well um, so that's something new which is good pitted black olives they're in the brine and it's one and a half sins for 25 grams of them and then I've got four packs of these microwave basmati rice i've checked on the app and i was very happy to see that they're only one sin for the full pack which is fantastic because i normally get the ones from um alde and they're two sins for the pack and for one sin it is definitely worth it for the hassle of cooking pass um, cooking rice and like i say it's portioned out as well 250 grams you can't go wrong at all so just one sin for those from asda so i got four of them I've got some poppadoms as requested by Alyssa, but I'm not going to be having any of these. Eight pack of poppadoms, two sins each, but still not bad at all if you do fancy a poppadom. I've got some sliced beetroot, which is speed. And then I've also got a little jar of harissa paste. You can just see it there. One and a half sins per teaspoon. And again, I'm making a big batch of mixed bean um, soup. So it's mixed bean and vegetable soup and I've got harissa paste going in it as well, which makes it really, really nice. So when I'm making this massive pan full, again, it's going to be hardly anything for a teaspoon. I might even put two teaspoons in it and again, it, I'll probably thin it at half a sin a portion, but it won't even be that with how many portions I'll get out of it. Hence why I've got a million different types of beans. Um, I've also got some celery. This is to obviously have a salad, but also to go in that soup speed and then i've got some crisps quavers prawn cocktail they are four things a pack monster munch pickled onion flavor my husband's favorite five and a half sins a pack and then what sits alana's favorite they're four sins a pack so those and that's everything that I got from Asda. So like I said yesterday, I only needed to get a few more bits and loads of the bits. And then finally, I'll show you what I've got from Iceland. I did actually get a couple more things from Asda that I forgot to just show you. But again, they're not edible, so that's why I've forgotten to show you. But I picked up just some of Asda's own um, tropical liquid detergent and also the... Um, 
fabric softener to match with it because our washing machine it's one of them ones where you just fill it up with each fill it up to the brim and then it takes what it needs with every shop every shop every wash so I always need to make sure I've got plenty of that in and then I also got which is super cute some bits for Kobe so I just got some sleep suits a big five pack for £10 which I thought was really good except for he's in to three to six months now so I can't cope with that £10 on the baby event which was really really good value and so they're the sleep suits and then I've got two packs of baby grows as well um, £3 for just the plain white ones and again as you can see three to six months just plain white and then three to six months again of a pale blue a grey and a dark blue body suits as well and they're just £3.75 so an extra 75p because they're a different colour but hey ho right I'll show you the Iceland stuff now because I've got it all in front of me let me just move that out of the way so from Iceland I've topped up on some sauces because they're just they were better offer at Iceland than they were at Asda or Home and Bargains so I got the light mayonnaise I won't be having this because I get the one that's for half a sin I get the Hellman's lighter than light um, but this is for the rest of the family they usually go for the full fat one but I thought I'll sneak in the light one so at least it's a little bit better but if I do run out of my own I'm the only one that eats the lighter than light one then I know that it's two sins per tablespoon but even that's too much for me or for me so I always get the lighter than light Heinz full fat ketchup one sin per tablespoon again I get the either the no added sugar or the 50% less added sugar and salt and that one's only half a sin per um, teaspoon tablespoon so I've got that in and again the rest of the family don't touch it so I've got plenty left in for that some corn pieces which are free in protein <clears throat> I got two packs of baby bell lights sorry trying not to let the light shine on it uh, two sins each or three for your healthy extra air I got two bags of those because they're on offer in Iceland they're only a pound a pack I picked up some more fry light the butter flavor my favorite flavor um, free as long as you don't eat the whole thing these again aren't for me but they're good for the kids for a quick snack or for breakfast when they're running out of the door but nine and a half cents per brioche panu chocolat um, yeah nine and a half cents two for a pound two for two pound in Iceland these are but like I say good for a quick hit fit kids these go in the lunch boxes the saurine five cents for a banana flavoured one Four and a half cents for the original malt loaf flavoured taurine. And then I've also got two of these. Slimming World Tikka Masala sauces. Decent size because I'm going to make a curry. And I thought I'll have those as my base. And then I normally throw in loads more herbs and spices and stuff. Um, so that's what I've got. And then finally, and these have been used, so I excuse the empty packet. Um but I made tea already before I've done this vlog. I got a pack of the curly fries, seven and a half sins for 100 grams of the Iceland Dawn ones. Like I said, empty. I've not had any of them. And then also already chopped into some um, chicken breast nuggets. 70, um, 70 of them, but obviously you're not gonna eat all of them in one sitting, or at least I hope not. Eight and a half sins for four of them, which is ridiculous. So yeah, that's what I've got. And that's absolutely everything. And that is definitely going to be it for the rest of the week. I can't imagine needing to do any top-up shops, maybe apart from bread, milk, eggs, that sort of stuff. But other than that, maybe a bit of salad, because we do go through salad quite quickly. But other than that, nothing else. So I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to get it up tonight. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope you've seen some stuff there that either you've not seen in a long while or you've never seen or something's changed and, you know, it's spurred you on for trying something new. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one, which should be Friday's What I Eat in a Week. So I'll speak to you then.